Welcome to this demonstration of design entry and simulation using MEMS Plus. In this demonstration, we will show how MEMS Plus can be used to model a three-axis gyroscope and how this gyroscope model is simulated using the MEMS Plus simulator and MATLAB Simulink. First, a little about MEMS Plus. Unlike conventional finite element tools, MEMS Plus uses high order finite elements. High order finite elements, such as this comb finger, differ from conventional finite elements in that they have MEMS specific geometries, are parameterized, and have both linear and nonlinear models built in, which are specific to the nonlinear physics associated with the element. The effect of using high order finite elements is to reduce the amount of computation needed to perform multiphysics simulations by having the high order elements do the work up front. The end result is a model with far fewer nodes than a conventional finite element model, but with much faster simulation time. In this way, MEMS Plus is a MEMS specific tool and should be seen as complementary to conventional finite element tools. MEMS Plus is for the designer who values fast design prototyping, fast transient simulation, fully coupled nonlinear physics, and seeks to produce compact models of MEMS devices for a circuit and system level simulation. Let's go through an example of how a three axis gyroscope model is created in MEMS Plus. We construct and simulate the three axis gyroscope design, starting with the entry of material properties, specification of the underlying device fabrication process, construction of the design using the component library, and modal and AC simulation. We begin by taking a quick look at the Innovator tab, the tab where you construct your MEMS Plus design. A three-axis gyroscope has been constructed for the purpose of demonstration, with the z-dimension exaggerated to better show the model. We will go through the steps leading up to this stage in the design entry, but first, a little about the components that make up MEMS Plus models. Looking closely, we can see that the design primarily consists of a square proof mass structure and anchor beams, to which are attached several hundred comb finger pairs, which serve as the electrostatic drive and sense electrodes for the design. Each of these aspects of the design are instances of the high order finite elements mentioned earlier, which are also referred to as components. By switching to the mechanical connector view, we see the connectivity between the inserted MEMS Plus components. Mechanical connectors are analogous to element nodes in conventional finite element tools. By right-clicking on them, we can specify a given connector to be fixed or free. The comb fingers are instances of the comb finger component. Looking at the comb finger array components and inspecting their properties, we see the component parameters, which include the geometrical dimensions, pitch, and finger separation. For the comb finger component, the electrostatic physics are part of the component and are implicitly solved for whenever you run a simulation on the model. There is no need in MEMS Plus to specify or append physics to a model. They are given to you for free with the use of the appropriate component. With all MEMS Plus components, you have the ability to specify whether you want linear or nonlinear models to be used in the individual component instances. We can also view the electrical connectivity of the model using the electrical connector viewing mode. This view shows the voltage nodes of the model. Biases and excitations can be applied to these nodes for the purposes of driving the gyroscope model in simulation. To understand how the MEMS Plus model is constructed, let's look at the steps that were taken to produce this model. Like pages in a book, the MEMS Plus interface is arranged in tabs. The Material Database tab contains the material properties used in the MEMS Plus model. Material properties, like all numerical data entered into MEMS Plus, are parameterizable and can be varied through the scripting MATLAB interface for parametric studies. Nonlinear material properties are accommodated in MEMS Plus 
and material databases can be saved to a file and exchanged between different MEMSPLUS models. In the process editor, the material stack of your design is specified. Layer thicknesses, sidewall angles, and other process variables can be parameterized. As with material databases, processes can be saved to a file and exchanged between different MEMSPLUS models. The component library lists the components from which you construct your MEMSPLUS model. Components include comb drives, various beams, flexible quadrilateral elements, and other typical MEM structural components. Components can be associated with specific layers of the underlying process, and geometric constraints can be placed on components, allowing the implementation of process and technology-defined component libraries. Returning to the Innovator tab, components are assembled together to build the MEMSPLUS model. Adjacent components are automatically connected by using the wizard, which also serves as a pre-simulation checker for model consistency. Once the MEMSPLUS model has been entered, simulation of the MEMSPLUS model is undertaken in the Simulator tab. MEMSPLUS Simulator is ideal for undertaking modal, DC, DC sweep, and harmonic AC analyses. Here, we specify a modal analysis of the model to identify the functional resonance modes of the gyroscope design. As you can see, the modal analysis is completed in a matter of seconds, a speedup attributable to the use of MEMSPLUS's high-order finite elements. An AC harmonic analysis about a DC operating point can be undertaken, showing a resonance peak at the frequency associated with the Z-sense mode, as seen in the modal analysis. MEMSPLUS models can be loaded directly into MATLAB, Simulink, or Cadence to allow co-simulation of device and system or circuit. The complex geometries of modern MEMS gyroscopes means it is often desirable to apply a model reduction technique to gain additional simulation speed. This is especially true for transient simulations, where engineers expect to produce one or two seconds of time domain simulation output in a few tens of minutes of CPU time. In this example, we export the reduced order model of the gyroscope from MEMS Plus by creating a model export item in the analysis tree of MEMS Plus Simulator. The export process begins by first conducting a modal analysis, as we have done here, and identifying the modes to be captured by the reduced order model. A MATLAB reduced order model format for Simulink or Verilog A format for Cadence can be specified. MEMS Plus models can be imported into MATLAB Simulink using the menu tab for MEMS Plus in Simulink. Here, a Simulink model with several signal sources and a scope connected to the exposed input and output variables of the MEMS Plus model has been constructed. After connecting the signal sources and specifying the solver parameters, the transient simulation can be run. A three-axis gyroscope with angular velocities applied to each of the three spatial axes shows the correct responses on the three associated sense capacitors. Using the MEMS Plus reduced order model export functionality, a complex structure such as this can be exported to Simulink to produce a transient simulation, which completes in a matter of seconds. An equivalent analysis can be run in the analog design environment of Cadence Virtuoso using a similar model generation and import procedure. Once the results of a transient simulation have been obtained using Cadence Virtuoso or MATLAB Simulink, the transient result file can be imported into MEMSPLUS. Once in MEMSPLUS, the 3D mechanical behavior of the device model can be analyzed in the time domain alongside the signal outputs of the model. In this demonstration, we have covered the design entry and simulation of a three-axis gyroscope. Although this example has focused on a gyroscope design, 
MEMS Plus is useful in the design of a wide range of devices, including accelerometers, microphones, micromirrors, and RF switches. For more information on MEMS Plus's capabilities, training, and for evaluations of MEMS Plus, contact sales at coventor.com.